Howdy folks, I'm Ghastly Ghostflower, grotesquely greeting groaning ghouls. I'm Amber. And here are more groaning ghouls for us to... Greet? I don't know why we're greeting them. We're apparently the bad guys. Are we the bad guys? We're the bad guys. No, they're ghosts, Brian. They're not necessarily bad. They're bad. They're bad. <laughs> we're cute ghosts. <laughs> Let's get started. Alright folks, and our first letter is titled... I'm a 36-year-old male, and my husband says that I'm being ableist against his autism. Am I being ableist? So from some background information, my husband, I'll call him Danny, has autism. He's not far on the spectrum, but generally in the middle. My older brother was high on the spectrum, so I know how to deal with people with autism well, to a degree. The thing about my husband is that he's picky. I mean really picky. If I even put a bit of cheese or something drops the tiniest bit on another part of his food, he'll refuse to eat it. He can get aggressive quickly and will throw and kick whatever he can in sight. But he'll also sob afterwards and apologize to me as much as he can. I was cooking spaghetti bolognese, my finest dish, and Danny has these special plates that toddlers have because they are silicone with little dividers in a circle. Because it's toddler sized, he has two, so it's more of an adult portion. I put the spaghetti, garlic bread, and balinese down and passed him the plate. I turn to dish up my food when I hear this. Thanks, babe. Wait, I can't eat this. You know I can't. Why? I'm really confused. I thought I did everything right, but realized that a bit of tomato fell from one part of the plate and went into the garlic bread. I'm kicking myself at this point internally because I know that he will not eat it. And then I realized, oh, sorry, why don't you eat the second plate and I'll split my food with you. Danny gets up and slams the plate onto the floor and I hear a splat and a rubber squish noise. I turned and both plates are on the floor and he has a grin on his face. Make it again. You know it makes me mad. Uh, do I need to remind you that I'm autistic? I looked mad. At that moment, I felt my blood rushing. He sounded like a cartoon villain and was smiling the entire time. I'm annoyed, so I just shouted at him, Why are you smiling? Your autism is more like a jerkism. I'm not your maid. At least you can help. I never swear, ever. I work with children, so even I was surprised with myself. Danny looked taken aback and flipped me off and called me an ableist little bee, and then stormed out of the room and locked the door. I flinched a bit, and getting more annoyed, I looked at the mess. I just left it. I got my food, and I turned off the stove, and I just ate on the couch, and I fell asleep. I woke up the next day with a text message and him gone, saying that you need to be more open-minded about my disability and realize that the world doesn't revolve around you. I hope that this can be fixed when I'm home later. I called in sick to work that day, so all I've done is clean, read, and taken a shower. I'm reassessing my whole relationship, and maybe I am just a jerk. He does have autism, so he probably can't help it, so I feel even worse. Am I being ableist? I feel so horrible for all of this, and I don't know to apologize or reconsider everything with him. All right, folks, what do you think? Not the jerk. That is not autism. That is abuse. Mm -hmm. He is using his autism as an excuse to abuse you. Yeah. You know, the way he just threw the food on the floor and then smiled and was like, make it again. That's not an autistic meltdown. That is someone being very calculated and trying to use their disability as an excuse to abuse you. Yeah. Well, he had a whole nother plate, mm -hmm. right? That wasn't contaminated. And I mean, certainly like people do have aversions and there are mm -hmm. certainly cases where people have like these fears and stuff like that, that they can't help. But what he did here was completely ruin two plates of food. He had a temper tantrum and ruined f perfectly good food and then told you to redo it, right? Right. Well, and I mean, some people do have meltdowns over situations mm -hmm. like this, but this is not a meltdown because when someone is in a meltdown, they are not able to control their reactions. His reaction was very cool and very controlled. Yeah. So I don't think that OP was being ableist in this situation. I think that this, like you said, is just abuse. It seems like he knows what he's doing and he knows how to push OP's buttons. So I I feel bad for OP. And I think that, again, like it's certainly important to be considerate of people's like mental state. But OP is doing as much as they can to accommodate this person who is just taking it for granted at this point. But let me know what you folks think. So anyhow, take care and good luck. 
All right, folks, and our next letter is titled, Will I be a jerk if I force my daughter to stop wearing skirts and dresses? And Amber wants to read this one. I have a daughter who is nine and I'm a single dad. She is a very smart kid and gets the best grades in her class. Since about two years ago, I started letting her pick her own clothes, and she always goes for extremely girly things like hot pink skirts, flowy dresses, etc. that really make her stand out from the other kids. I am a bit concerned about this for multiple reasons. She has been teased about it by some boys in her class, and even her teachers have brought it to her. And when I brought it up with her, she just laughs and says she doesn't care, and calls the boys stupid because she gets better grades while wearing pink. She's also quite active on the playground, playing tag, etc. with others, and I'm not sure how safe this is. Very few other girls are wearing skirts to school. Currently, her hobbies, despite how she dresses, are more like that of a boy. She opens up her broken toys, fixes them herself, sometimes or with my help, takes parts like LEDs and motors out and builds other things with them. She says she wants to be an engineer. I worry she will get bullied if she keeps these interests and dresses like this when she tries to enter woodworking slash robotics club, etc. as she gets older. She also loves playing chess and is very good at it, and I know she has been teased at school for that too. All right, folks, what do you think of this one? Yeah, you would be a jerk. The problem here is not your daughter. The problem here is the bullies. <laughs> Everyone else is the problem. Right. Like, if you're concerned about her playing on the playground, you could buy her some shorts to wear under her dress. They make, you know, spandex-type shorts that will go under smoothly, and that shouldn't be an issue. But aside from the playground, like, there's absolutely no issue with her wearing skirts and dresses. Well, I mean, I could understand his concern more if she was coming home, like, distraught and upset and whatnot. And I'm not saying that the, the banning her from wearing clothes would be the right answer in that case even, right? But she's taking this in stride. She doesn't seem to care, right? Yeah. So she seems fine with this, and it seems like she's building up resilience, and she has a lot of self-confidence. And don't take away her self-confidence because of how other people are acting. Yeah, and don't try and, like, fit her into this little mold. Yeah. Rude people will be rude for any number of reasons, you know, and women in STEM face a lot of hardships for no reason at all other than their gender. Yeah. Um, and so, in some ways, it's good that she's building resilience now. I mean, no one should have to build that resilience. And the teachers, I think, really need to, like, maybe Opie needs to talk to the principal of the teachers are questioning why she's wearing skirts and dresses to school well i'm hoping that they have enough sense not to say this to her face right i'm hoping that this is one of the things where it might come up in parent teacher conferences and they say her clothes are a little peculiar or something like that right well but still i think it'd be worth talking to the principal about that yeah. because the teachers there's no reason for the teachers to be yeah. policing how she dresses and i agree completely i mean i, I think that uh, I was just saying, I hope that they're mm -hmm. not, like, tearing her down in front of, like, uh, the other students and stuff like that. So, yeah, I don't think, I don't think OP should uh, ban his daughter from wearing stuff. They should, he should just let her be her own person. And Sounds like he's doing a great job at raising her. Yeah, encourage her yeah. and, you know, support her and let her keep getting all A's in, you know, pink dresses. Yeah, exactly. So, she's not doing anything wrong. The world is doing something wrong. But let me know what you folks think. So anyhow, take care and good luck. All right, folks, and our next letter is titled, My brother doesn't understand why I won't come to work at a naturalist resort for his wedding. My philosophy is that I don't care what others do as long as something isn't hurting someone or infringing on my rights or the rights of others. Whatever consenting adults do in their private lives is none of my concern. This extends to my brother and his fiancée being naturalists. However, I do take an issue with them being angry that I won't attend their wedding. They are having their wedding and reception at a naturist resort. They met there, and I understand that it holds significance for them. I even checked if nudity is a requirement for the ceremony and reception, or if it's just a regular wedding attire. It's a requirement to be nude, though, just like all the other times at the resort. I offered to pay for a separate reception for them, however, this just made them angrier. I'm not comfortable with being in the nude in front of a large crowd of strangers, either at a wedding or at a resort, period. I was asked to be a bridesmaid, even though I don't know my brother's fiancé well enough to be friends. I moved to Darwin from Aladalia for work before my brother even met her. I'm definitely not comfortable with walking up the aisle arm in arm with a groomsman I've never met, when we're both nude, or standing in front of everyone during the ceremony, or being in all the photographs when I'm nude. My brother's fiance said that if she looked like me, she would go nude all the time, but it's not about that. I'm not saying because naturist is wrong, 
I'm not saying that they should not get married at a naturist resort. I'm just uncomfortable with attending the wedding if I'm required to be nude for it. I don't know about his fiance's family, but some of my siblings and cousins or their spouses are also uncomfortable. My parents are no longer with us, so I can't ask them for advice. I just want to get off my chest about how I feel about my brother not understanding my discomfort with this. All right, folks, what do you think of this? I mean, it's really unfortunate the way OP's brother is reacting here. Like, mm -hmm. I understand that this is something he really enjoys, but you have to respect other people's bodily autonomy. Yeah. And there's a lot of good reasons. Like, I would not want to go to a wedding where you had to be naked. Like, that's just not a thing I want to do. A lot of people are very uncomfortable with nudity. Yeah. And there's not anything wrong with that. Well, and also sounds like OP might be a particularly attractive individual because of the comments that the uh, fiancé made, mm -hmm. which... I don't, I think like that might put even more eyes on her if that's the case, whether right or wrong. And that might make her feel especially uncomfortable with the situation. Right. Well, and also the photography angle too. Like yeah. there are going to be naked photos they'll be displaying. Yeah. Presumably like I wouldn't be comfortable with people taking naked photos of me to yeah. put up around their house or whatever you know and who knows what could happen with those yeah and i think that this is just a, a little bit of a dicey situation so i actually don't blame op at all for not wanting to participate in this i mean i don't think anyone should be forced to be nude for this reception so i can understand the brother's opinion here and it means a lot to them but they also have to be respectful of other people and their wishes right well i think op has the right attitude here he can have whatever reception he wants but he can't force others to you know go along with him mm -hmm. in that respect but let me know what you folks think so anyhow take care and good luck all right folks and our next letter is titled am i a jerk for wearing a two-piece bikini at a pool while babysitting despite the dad disliking it and amber wants to read this one too i'm a 24 year old female and i've been babysitting for a family where the parents are divorced from what I know, the husband was a cheating lowlife and overall, not a very good person. The kids live with their mom, who lives on one side of the neighborhood. The dad lives on the other side, and they have joint custody. I watch the kids when she's busy or out of town for business. She's working a white-collar professional, but always has been super chill. I love the kids like they're my own, and because it's hot, she asked me to take the kids to the pool on certain days for a bump in pay. For swimsuits, I've only got two pieces, but she gave me the green light to wear a bikini in front of the kids when we go to the pool. However, today while we were at the pool, the dad unexpectedly showed up. Apparently it's a regular thing for him to come to the pool and pass time by reading there. I ignored him and tried to focus on the kids, but eventually, while the kids were a distance away but within my purview, he walked over to me and started berating me for wearing a bikini in front of the kids. He even went as far as pointing out my belly ring, saying it was inappropriate to brandish that in front of them. I was thrown back by the audacity. I told him I chose to dress, how I chose to dress is none of his business, and even his wife gave me the okay, so he's the only one making the problem with this. Then he threatened to take the kids home, even though it wasn't his week. I cut him off and said, don't even think about it. Those kids are my responsibility, and their mother expects me to bring them home. If you want them so bad, you'll just have to wait until it's your week. Go back to reading your paper, and maybe I won't mention this to your wife. I guess I startled him because he just got quiet and walked back to his chair. All right, folks, what do you think of this? Not the jerk. I think Opie handled it just fine. Like, why does he think he can dictate what Opie wears to a public pool? Yeah, I mean, I think that's the big question here is like, I think he's just looking for something to pick at. Mm -hmm. Like, he is unhappy with this whole divorce situation, probably, or just unhappy that he got caught. And uh, I think he's taking that out on OP, looking for whatever excuse he can, right? And again, like, I think OP made the right statement here. She didn't let him bully him around. And I think the only only thing that he could do in this situation is call the wife up at that point in time and say, I want to take the kids. And I bet, I'm betting she would be <laughs> still like, no. <laughs> yeah, well, and like they're at a pool i'm sure there are plenty of other people wearing bikinis in fact i imagine yeah, that's probably yeah. why the ex-husband is there in the first place the bikini watch i mean he might be there for bikini watching and i think that op it's like you said isn't the only person there who's in a bikini i mean it would be extremely unlikely right and the kids are going to be exposed to that anyways and not that that's even a problem to be exposed exactly. to, right? Yeah, like, it's not like seeing someone in a bikini is horribly corrupting. Oh, think of the children. How yeah. will they ever survive? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But let me know what you folks think. So anyhow, take care and good luck.
All right, folks, it is tea time. Grab your beverages of choice. I've got some tea right here, and Amber, she has something that I would not classify as a joke, but I might chuckle a little bit out of it. Did the mummy have a good vacation? The mummy was a little wrapped up in their vacation. Yeah, who knows? He was too wrapped up to tell us. There you have it, folks. Jovial Bob sign. And I have Mega Mint. All right, folks, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Friday, Junior. Happy Friday, Junior. Thanks so much to Amber for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Amber, we need some kind of moral advice and or guidance. And please, have it on clothings. Worry less about what other people are wearing and uh, only concern yourself with your own wardrobe. I think that's a great bit of advice. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.